Alright, are we ready? Yes! How did it feel playing in an environment where you only saw what was now and what was next? And you don't have a sort of like a, a bigger picture of what's happening. How did that feel as a performer? That's of course very exciting and um, and I feel that's um, kind of an impulsive <laughs> way of creating music, very spontaneous. <laughs> amount of time that you have to find yourself in this little, uh, I would say, slot of imagination or, or um, perception of what the score uh, expects from you is quite short. So you don't have eternal time to, to understand what does it mean to... How was it? Um, there were some interesting um, phrases. Um, go underwater or something. Um, now we got four pieces, Sam's got one piece. The basic gist is once you open the app up, you're gonna go full screen by hitting escape, and it's just gonna say that the whole, the whole time. There's a bar along the bottom, okay, and then you see the thing at the bottom right, countdown. You're gonna get prompts on the screen, sort of adjective kind of thing, somewhat ambiguous, do what it says. The trajectory of the piece, it begins with a tendency for all of us to have a change together. All of us are gonna have sort of different things in groups, all right? We'll be clumped together, so we'll sort of more often change together as the piece goes on, those changes will happen separately. I mainly wanted to test how that stuff worked, and I think in thinking that I tried to sort of conceive ideas that would highlight what the system was good at, which was that having having like these the sectional kind of approach and sort of blocky bits of material, um, different amount of synchronicity between seven people, so three people together, four people together, seven people together. The very uh, uh, synchronous things wouldn't happen otherwise, and if there was a conductor then it would be like their will being imposed on This is more uh, neutral in a way. I've worked with graphic score notation before and um, one of the limitations was that in time-based scoring all the musicians have to follow the position together on the score um, but that's quite difficult. You have to play, a, maybe learn the score a lot with one ensemble so that they can all listen for other actions that are happening and follow the, at the correct pace. But with the DF score I used a similar notation style, but it was uh, it was in animated score, so it was they could just follow its movement on the computer, and I knew everybody would be together. I guess this is to do with the pieces, with the way they were written, was that there was still 
loads of room for interpretation, loads of, um, it didn't seem to inhibit the interactions between each other. How do you write a piece that works really well and that has the right kind of openness for the players? I think you can uh, apprehend the rules and all of the parameters in, the, in those, that set of pieces quite quickly and you can perform them. And the question now is how can those performances get better or how can new pieces learn from uh, that experience? I mean, you have to use a lot of the same skills as when you're improvising. Uh, in a completely open context, but you need to also be able to engage your sort of like analytical brain at the same time as your more spontaneous creative output. So being holding maybe the rules in your head or making sure to leave enough focus on the score that you're reading uh, while still trying to be musical, interacting with people. I would say quest for interaction. I, I enjoyed very much that um, sometimes inability to find it and then just uh, maybe a little bit um, desperate search for uh, sometimes for for creating for dialogue sometimes depending of course on the moments uh, in the whole concert. There were some moments where it was more obvious, some moments where it was more difficult. I was quite impressed actually by the end how much we were interacting with each other outside of the screen. I thought, I thought we, we might end up, especially on the first performance, like really just eyeballing the computer screens and not looking around and not listening enough. But actually, on the performance there was lots of nice interaction. I'm amazed how the how well the game pieces worked, because. I was just amazed that they worked. And I, <laughs> they're really hard to, with two people, and we were doing them with seven people. Yeah. Can we try? What so maybe the idea then, then is that you're trying, you're sort of like, over time, you increase your tendency to allow the ending. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll so be. So you can start by being a bit submissive and not letting someone have the ending. So yeah, yeah. And then. I mean, the, the goal with this and how it was with, with both of us is that, like, once we did it for a bit with the mechanism, then. Then we got strategic with it. All right, shall we try it? Yep. Yeah. freedom to do stuff. So in some ways it's a structure within something very free that I find very interesting. I can't really, you know, um, describe this beyond that. It's just um, a different way because it's uh, it's um, super spontaneous and it's um, for that reason it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. 